Hello guys! This video will complement our video about path and path following and we will see how we can move a sprite from one path to another path. I decided to make this video because of this question, so thank you for asking. And so let's go back to our project to change it. We will do almost everything by code and we will see how create sprites by code too. But the code is really simple to understand. First, let's create a new path and add a new path follower to it. Then we can delete our sprite because we will recreate it by code. And now we can go to the script to make the logic. First, let's load our texture. Then we declare a variable to become our sprite and two another variables to define which path will be running. Now we will use the ready function to create our sprite as the script is ready. And we will use this s variable to hold it. And so we can set our texture to it. And then we need to add our sprite as a child of the pet follow 2D. And then we can set our first variable to true because we want our first pet following to start. And now we can uncomment this line to see our sprite moving again. And there's our sprite created by code moving through the path. And now we make a test here to define what needs to happen when the first path is running. So, of course, the offset will be increased. Then we make another test here to check if the unit offset is bigger than 0.99. This unit offset goes from 0 to 1 and defines how far in the path the object is. So we are basically checking if the object is at the end of the path and if so, we will remove it from the first path and will add it at the second path. And now we set our second variable to true because we want to run the second path and the first path to false because we need to stop it. And we can reset the unit offset. And now to configure our second path we will do exactly the same. So we can just copy the code from our first path and just change the names. So I know that this code is not beautiful or optimized, but the goal here is to make it easy to understand. If you have doubts or suggestions, please leave it in the comments. And now let's see the result. And so we have our sprite moving in a cycle between the two paths. And that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, if so please consider give a thumbs up, leave a comment, share, subscribe and thanks for watching, bye.